Hey, what's up? It's the boys from Bit Season, and today's show is sponsored by SeatGeek. And if you don't know what SeatGeek is, they're a ticketing app that makes buying tickets super simple. We've all got the app on our phones. Use code BITSEASON for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the WIP Morning Show. We are at our favorite place in Atlantic City, the beautiful Borgata Hotel Casino and Spa, a Friday morning. And we got a lot to talk about. Oh, my God. I can't wait to tell you the story of my brief conversation with Mr. John Ritchie after our show and before mm-hmm. theirs yesterday. It was like watching out. You know, I almost went to the, uh, the what's it, there, Yosemite Park. Oh, uh, yeah. They have geysers there, right? Where, yeah, like, yeah. They're, they're, and then they explode. Yep. I knew that I was speaking to Mount Vesuvius mm-hmm. yesterday with this whole thing with the soft schedule the Eagles have. This is a major story, whether you realize it or not. And I know I got some negative emails saying, oh, boy, you already stirred it up. No, I didn't. You understand, what I bring to this show is knowledge and experience. And when I see something that is softer than a purring little kitten in your arms, mm. it is my responsibility to mention it. And that is why I'm looking forward to getting the thoughts – of Mr. Al Morgan today because he was not here yesterday. Mm-hmm. Let me go over the roster, all right? I've got Keith Jones, knowledge personified. Very smart man. Working for one whole week now, Al, with an abscess tooth. Coming out today. It will <laughs> be stupid. removed later today. Mm, warrior. That is a profile in courage. He's an idiot. Trying not to eat this morning. <laughs> How would you, why would you wait? Courage. A profile in <laughs> stupidity. Yes, yes. No. Oh, yeah, Jonesy, when are you going to get it? Oh, I think I'll wait. Wait. What are you doing? Wait. Away. His yeah, dentist was, dentist was on the, oh, vacation. He's the best. Dentist. He will not go to oh, anyone new. God. Dr. Lanzi, I'll see you this time. Thank you later. <laughs> All right. Uh, you, in fact, you gave him the dentist, right, now. Yeah, I did. It's Al's guy. All right, tall guy. Guy went on vacation. What are you going to do? You got to wait. It's an abscess. Uh, all right, so so we got Jonesy here. Al's back. We know that. Rhea's still off, but that's no problem. Back at the station is the immortal John Johnson. And, Johnson, I got to assume uh, you've got a few thoughts about that ninth inning last oh, night. Oh, I might have one or two. You might have a thought or two on that one. Oh, yeah. Because uh, Dave Dabrowski, R- Ruben Amaro's booked at, nine, at, at 8 today, 8 o'clock. This is, if you heard the overnight show, Ruben Amaro debt. I heard that. Ruben Amaro made all his big trade deadline moves on July 29th. Yeah. And he will be on to see if, like, later today, I'm going to see if he will take. I'm going to make a trade offer okay. to him on July 29th. Yeah, he would don't. I would like his car, and I'm willing to trade hmm. one of your horses. Okay. Horse for car. That's a good deal. All right. Are you in yeah. on it? Yeah. See if we can get his Very car Very good deal. It's, it's what you call dealing. Yes. Wheeling and dealing. Yes. All right. So I want to, I just want you to know, Mike Lombardi's on at seven. He'll deal with the softness of this uh, camp because I just, I'm just, I guess I want to sound like a broken record for the next couple of weeks. They lose these first four games because of what you're seeing right now. They will be held accountable. And ladies and gentlemen, understand this. On Thursday, you are bringing the rooster into the hen house. I'm going to training camp. I'm going to be a little trailer mm. right next to the, the, where they practice. Yep. If you think I am not making a big issue of this with Nick Sirianni and anybody else that's coming out, you don't know me. This is my last hurrah, and I plan to make my voice heard mm. at camp <laughs> about the little kittens uh. that are going on there. All right, so we got Lombardi at 7, <laughs> Ruben Amaro Day. He'll be on today. At 9, we're going down to Atlanta, Al, Carl Dukes. Oh, nice. I've seen guys not playing hard. I have never seen what I saw Wednesday in that game with the Braves and the Phillies. Mm-hmm. And I want to know how it played in Atlanta. When Eddie Rosario struck out, mm-hmm. the ball kicked off. I know. The knee, you saw it, right, Al? Yep. It kicked 15 to 20 feet up third base line. Rosario didn't run. No. He didn't care. <laughs> I want to know how that played in Atlanta. And then I want to find out from Carl Dukes if the Falcons are basically mailing in training camp. Are they holding rigorous 58-minute training camp uh, practices on their first day? Good question. Out 58 yeah. minutes. Yeah. And then they said, we're not playing hard yesterday. Walk through. Walk throughs. Wow. Well, does I guess cons- they're going to walk through. Does it concern you? Does it worry you? 
that this yeah, that they have consulted I, I, so doctors the one, yeah. and the doctors are telling them basically don't practice. The only the only thing that I, I have to think having so many veterans in the locker room if it yeah. that they would have pushed back. Okay. I don't. I'm trying to figure out why it wouldn't have been a, with with Brandon Graham and Kelsey because right. Kelsey seemed like he wanted more when Kelsey, we talked to him. Kelsey, hold on. Uh, uh, up, uh, brief update. Back to the newsroom. Mm-hmm. We have a breaking story with John Johnson. What is the Kelsey status right now, John Johnson? Uh, COVID progression. He's in pro progression now. It's, it's a, a new, new term. term. It's a new term. What is that? We don't know. No. It's like it's so he's got COVID and after waiting to trust negative. I, that's well, what, no. That's we, what we assume. The uh, now the Eagles' new term uh, for some, as opposed to protocol, is now COVID progression. It's a progression. Now. It's softer. It's like protocol is rigid. Yeah. Progression is soft. What? We are softening <laughs> even our terminology <laughs> this summer. He's getting well done. Well we are in a full process uh. to take everything that is football related. <laughs> And put fur on it and pet it. So we're doctors <laughs> use progression. Right? Now, all right, so you just heard Al's uh, take on it. With all due respect, Al, that wasn't quite what Richie did. I walked out from the studio and I went, John, remember something. John is so hardcore. They had to phase out his position in football. He did. <laughs> John was a fullback. Even that position is too concussive for them to do anymore. <laughs> Right? So John is walking around like a relic of his own sport. And then he hears that the Eagles put out their schedule. And on four of their workouts, they made full workouts into walkthroughs because the doctors had advised Nick Sirianni that it was too hardcore. They went, all right, but we are going to practice hard, and we'll do it on day one for 58 minutes. Mm -hmm. 58 minutes. Green day. And, and Johnson, uh, Johnson's report, and I said, you know Johnson now, he can't get this out yeah. with more snark. It <laughs> oh, was, he was he, grueling out. Uh, a, gr- a grueling 58-minute practice. Uh, he, he's really peppering it. But it's really annoying Richie. And I'm seeing Richie. Oh, he's twitching. His yeah. face is twitching as he's going to the studio. And I'm going, oh, this is going to be good. And then they go to the top of the midday show. And former fullback, former Eagle. John Ritchie gets the mic, and Ritchie expresses himself. They aren't practicing on the second day of training camp. This is the second day of Well, they call it the third day of training camp. Because they had a conditioning test? I'm just— You know what? Back in the day, you had to do the conditioning test, and then you had to put the pads on and go out there and hit people and then go in and eat and try to get a little nap in because you were going to put the pads on again and then hit people, and this— 58 minute thing that's the entirety of the practice yesterday yep look practice is to practice to get reps to get better 58 minutes that once upon a time when we were doing two of these a day and we were hitting one another while doing it 58 minutes was the warm-up and the individual period before you then ran 150 plays or whatever it was, hitting people. Hitting. They're not even hitting. I cannot get over this. Oh, that is love. I love that. You understand? <laughs> Beautiful. They're not here. By the way, uh, 150 plays they ran. Yeah. Uh, Hertz ran 20 yesterday. 20 plays. Oh, my God. 20 plays. On mm-hmm. the first day, yesterday he took a break. <laughs> <laughs> you got to be kidding me. You can't be serious. Dick Vermeil's going in the Hall of Fame next week. Dick Vermeil had these guys out there for four hours. Now, I understand that now doesn't happen because of collective bargaining. Right. But this is the way to prepare when you've got four cookies on the top of your schedule. You've got four cookies. They get, the NFL got together and went, we really like the Eagles. I want to play for you stuff in the 7 o'clock hour. It's going to sound like music to you. These are national experts telling you the Eagles are awesome this year. The Howie Roseman had the best offseason of any GM in the, in the league. And then you're going to take all that. And you're going to place it in the toilet. And you're going to flush. And you're going to go, we're going to blow some of these early games, even though they're gifts, because we don't want to get our players ready for the season. This is a, a abominable. It's a science and, project. And now, is what it is. now you're going to hear some. Ladies and gentlemen, I have an announcement to make. I'm an awful patient. When I go to my doctor, I love my doctor. 
She's a terrific doctor. I'm terrible. I challenge her. When she says, I want you to do this, I go, why? I want you to take this. Why? I challenge yeah, her. Yeah, you should. I don't just you follow should. what the doctors tell you. I am, And on this show, I push back on the doctors, right? Yeah. Um, John Ritchie went off on doctors yesterday. Yeah, he Here's should. what he said about the medical doctor. You are breeding softness and contentedness with doing the bare minimum. And this is, without a doubt, coming from the front office, you know, this is how he's medical babysitting team telling Nick Sirianni that you can't risk soft tissue injuries. Guess what? Soft tissue injuries happen. When you do anything active, when you play any sport, they're just going to happen, and you figure figure it out, you deal with it, you minimize the time that the player misses as best you can, and it's the next guy up philosophy. You can't avoid injury by avoiding football, by avoiding practice. You must practice at football to get better to beat the other teams who are practicing. <laughs> All right. Now I want to tell you something. All right. That was beautiful. All right. Um, I'm going to illustrate to you how ridiculous this is. I'm going to tell you what. And I realize how I could do this. This is, uh, I think, the best way to do it. There are a lot of people out there. I get emails from them. They call, one of them called yes. We're sending their kids to football camp. Yeah. Yep. Send your kid to football camp. First practice. We're going to teach these kids how to get ready for high school season. First practice, 58 minutes. Second practice to walk through. You asking for your money back? Yeah. You want your money back? Yeah, mm-hmm. I would. Oh, you want your money back? Yeah. 58 minutes. Yes. Uh, little little uh, Timmy calls. Hey, Dad, pick me up. Practice is over. What do you mean practice is over? I left. I dropped you off an hour ago. Practice is over. It's 58 minutes. <laughs> Second practice. Oh, not that long. We're just going to walk it through. Uh, excuse me. Uh, can I talk to the guy who runs the camp? I would like my money back. Apparently, you guys are not actually running a camp. This is what the Eagles are running to prepare for season. Yeah. I want to talk this morning, right now, to anybody out there who is associated with a football camp. And I want to know how the customers would respond to what the Eagles have done so far this week. This is after calling off the last two weeks of off-season practices because they didn't want to make it too tough for the players. At what point does it become a question that the fans have to ask to the team saying, how are you preparing right. our team for this season? Well, they have the because this is no, this is a major issue now. The doctors are making the Eagles not get ready for a football season. They're not. No. They're not hitting. They're not practicing. They're doing nothing. They're what? They're in. They're in study halls. That is not how you get yeah. yourself ready for a football season. If you're a doctor not. and you have a team that's looking for right. that type of answer, you're yeah. going to give them that type of answer because, mm-hmm. obviously, their players are not going to become, be injured early on. Top I, it, priority today, people sending their kids to football camps. I'll even take somebody sending them to a summer camp. Summer camp, we're done after an hour. Come pick your kids up. Uh, I want to know where that works. And what he is doing, he's yep. creating a culture of fear. Yes. He's, he's conditioning them to worry about injuries. Oh, oh, my God, don't pull a hip straight. Get off the field. It's stupid. It doesn't work. And I will yell like this next Thursday at training camp. You know why, Al? Because um, I'm leaving at the end of the year anyway. I don't care. <laughs> you got nothing to lose. I got nothing to lose now. My, co- my chips are all in on yep. this season. Let's go to Mike in Douglasville. Let's see what he thinks. Mike, what do you think of that? How are you guys doing today? I'm What's doing up, okay, man? Mike, but I'm tougher than the Eagles, and I'm a decrepit old man. Angelo, my 11-year-old son who you met on Sunday is tougher than these Eagles. Yeah, he's tougher than – is he at camp, Mike? What's he doing right now? All right, so he's played football for the last – uh, four, yeah, four years. He's played tackle football for the last four years. This past year, they ended in November. They started doing volunteer workouts in March. Monday, Wednesday, they started doing hour and a half to two hour volunteer workouts in March. And now... They stopped it just because for baseball season, but they started it up about the baseball season for them ended about a month and a half ago. They started running three a day 
or uh, three a week volunteer workouts for the last three and a half, four weeks, three days a week, two hours a day, starting Monday. They had this past week off, so that way all the kids could pick up all the equipment and everything like that. Starting Monday, they start Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, two-hour practices each day. So four times a week, two-hour practices. All right, that's child abuse, Mike. I got to tell you, I'm <laughs> calling social services. We're going to break here. Mike, here's the thing, all right? Here's what I'm going to if, – if, if, if your son at camp had the schedule the Eagles do, would it, you ask for your money back? Absolutely. It's 58 absolutely minutes, walk through the next day. You, this is, it isn't even a camp, right? What are we they doing here? Have, they don't even have pads on. They have a helmet on. Congratulations. You're protecting your head. You, you need to be hitting somebody. Thank you. That's football. You don't want to play football. Don't play football. Don't ask a doctor. A doctor's going to tell every kid not to play football because you're banging banging your head. Angelo, starting Monday, these kids are supposed to just wear helmets. On Tuesday, they're supposed to have shoulder pads and helmets. Wow. On Wednesday, they're supposed to be in full pad, light hitting. Wow. Thursday, their fourth practice, it is full contact. Oh. And after that, after that, every single practice. Wait a minute. What to- is the what is the walkthrough, Mike? That's the key. Give me a walk. Is there any walkthrough in there? That's Monday. Monday's the walkthrough. After one walk that, through, one walk through contact. a week. Oh man, Mike. It's full contact uh, the entire season. Right, Mike. I have to let you uh, go what, now. What's he talking uh, Ava, about? Ava, <laughs> Ava, listen to me. <laughs> Ava, find uh, the number for social services. <laughs> what the hell is that? I have to call and report the people running that no, camp. Like, well, that's child abuse. Yeah, that's a camp, right? Yeah, I mean. That's child abuse. Wow. How dare that? Hey, you know what else I would love right now? You could see how much this is frustrating mm-hmm. me. Because they're handed four wins and they're trying to give them back. All right? Could a doctor call in and tell me what you think of this? Is yeah, there a yeah. doctor up at this hour? Well, there must be a couple a of them. Yeah. yeah. Well, normally I have Novacare doctors, but I didn't book one today. Right. Yeah. Well, so they, I would like to just hear a doctor. Yeah. Well, they're going to say what Jonesy said. If what? They look better. If you don't get hurt, you look better. Doesn't mean you're going to win football games. You're not. You're <laughs> not going to be because ready. a doctor is not a coach. Exactly. A doctor. Exactly. A doctor. Now they've adopted. Uh, like when you coach in high school now. Yep. I believe it's 15 right. minutes a week you're allowed to hit. 15 minutes. I, I think that's the new rule. A week? Yeah. All right. I'm sorry. I got to uh, go this to is break. What's, this is what's happened. I break. Breakfast is about this to is come <laughs> up on me. I got to go. I got to go right now. 215 592 We come back. Yeah, do you love a mystery? Yes. There's a great little mystery about last night and Zach Wheeler. And I'm going to play this cut for you. And he wouldn't say what this was, but he was mad. Oh, Let's really? see if we can figure this out. <laughs> Jump on now. I need coaches, doctors, and campers. Mm. WIP Sports Time 618. Hey, what's up? It's the boys from Bit Season, and today's show is sponsored by SeatGeek. And if you don't know what SeatGeek is, they're a ticketing app that makes buying tickets super simple. We've all got the app on our phones. Use code BITSEASON for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. 